Welcome to Faith for Living. Do good. Lesson four. I do not own the rights to this music. The topic is provoking one another to good works. The lesson scripture is found in Hebrews chapter 10, verses 19 through 29. And that reads, Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God. Let us draw near with the true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful looking for of judgment, and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries, he that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment suppose ye? Shall he be thought worthy who have trodden underfoot the Son of God and have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing and have done despite unto the Spirit of grace? The memory verse for today's lesson is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. The key terms, consider, provoke, love, assembling, exhorting. Consider is to perceive, remark, observe, understand, to consider attentively, fix one's eyes or mind upon. Provoke is an inciting, an incitement, and can be an irritation. Love is affection, goodwill, benevolence, and brotherly love. Assembling is a gathering together in one place, the assembly of Christians. Exhorting is to encourage and strengthen by consolation, to comfort, to receive consolation, be comforted, to instruct and to teach. The writer of Hebrews makes three key appeals to believers. Since the blood of Christ has given us new freedom and we have been sanctified and cleansed from sin, let us draw near to God's presence in sincerity and truth, since he has established a new way for us to live through his sacrifice. Let us hold on to our profession, faith without excuse or doubt because Christ has faithfully kept his promises. And since we now have an everlasting high priest over the house of God, let us give earnest attention to how we can inspire one another to love and good and noble works. We tend to only think of good deeds as providing for the material needs of others, visiting the sick and so on. However, Noble activities for believers also include gathering for worship and fellowship and continuing to encourage each other as we see the signs pointing to the soon return of Jesus Christ. The questions for today's lesson. What new freedoms do we have as believers in Jesus Christ? And how does this compare with the Mosaic Law? In what ways can we inspire and encourage each other? And why is it important for believers to gather together in worship? Do you know of believers who refuse to participate in corporate worship? Because Christ has faithfully kept his promises toward us, we are inspired to remain faithful to him. There are signs pointing to the soon return of Jesus Christ. 
God, we thank you for this lesson. In the name of Jesus, help us to get in a hurry for you, Father. In the name of Jesus, and help us to be like those five virgins that kept their lights, their, their lamps burning. In the name of Jesus, help us to have a hunger and thirst for righteousness and a hunger and thirst for your spirit to be in your house, God all the days, all the days of our lives, in the name of Jesus, and to behold your beauty, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Your word says, you are holy, so be ye holy. You want us to be holy, Father, and cleanse us, Father, from all unrighteousness, all unrighteous acts and deeds. Father, help us to, to perf be perfected in holiness, in the name of Jesus, and help us to remember those that are in bonds, as being bound with them. Help us to encourage one another to stir them onto good works and to, and to come together as a body of believers in love, in patience, endurance, in peace, in unity, in the faith, in the name of Jesus, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God and amen. God bless you, and thank you for joining me today.